Hi, it's Dee with CrochetTalk.com. In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to do a double crochet corkscrew. I have previously made a single double crochet corkscrew, and I've also made two that are attached. You can make more attached, um, or you can stop at two. You can just make one. A lot of people are using these on the La La Loopsie hats. You can add them to scarves hair ties for little girls. You can just use corkscrews for a lot of things. They're fun to make and they're quick to make. So what you will need for this tutorial will be some yarn. I am going to be using a worsted weight for play yarn. You also need some scissors and for demonstration purposes I will be using a size H hook also a 5.00 millimeter and to begin, you want to go ahead and make your slip knot. I make my slip knot holding the yarn this way, twisting, pulling the longer end through. My slip knot is made. Slide it on your hook and you're ready to go. To begin, you will be chaining 25. If at any time I seem to be going too fast, please feel free to pause the video to catch up. I am going to chain my 25. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. And 25. Now you can continue to make it as long as you want, just making sure to end your chain on an odd number. Now, from here, to do your double crochet corkscrew, you will be doing four double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. So you're going to count one, two, three. Here's the fourth chain from the hook. You will be doing four double crochets into this chain. So here we go with one, two, three, and four. And you're going to continue this all the way across where you will be putting four double crochets in each chain all the way across to the end. So in the next chain I will be doing four double crochets. There's one, two, three, and four. Again, four double crochets in the next chain. There's one, two, three, four. And as you can see, it's already starting to curl. That's what you want. Go ahead and continue to put four double crochets in each chain across. I will meet you at the last few stitches towards the end. Go ahead and pause the video now. Here I am at the last few chains. I'm going to continue to put four double crochets in each chain across. So there's one, two, three, four. Next chain, one, two, three, four, and in the last chain, one, two, three, and four. So there you have completed your first corkscrew. You just want to go ahead and twist it into shape. Twist it to the right since that's the way it forms. And just keep twisting till you've got it shaped. Here is the single and all I did is I just cut it off. I got my tail end and I just did 
I tied them together with one and then I double knotted it so I pulled it through and then pulled it through one more time pulled it tight and there I have my first corkscrew made and this is the single corkscrew now to make it a double corkscrew like this one you're just going to go ahead and repeat the process you're going to chain your 25 and then you're going to do four uh, double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook so here we go with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four and twenty five now you're going to do your four double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook which is one two three and four here we go with the first double crochet here's the second the third and the fourth and then once again you're just going to do four double crochets in each chain across it's still connected so this is what it looks like here I go with four more into the next chain here's one two three and four go ahead and pause the video here I'm going to continue to put four double crochets in each chain across I will meet you at the last few chains pause the video now here I am at the last few chains I'm just going to continue with my four double crochets there's one two three four again in the next chain one two three oops three four and then one more chain right in here there's one two three and four and there you have your two corkscrews hooked together you want to just go ahead and shape this one by twisting to the right until you got it shaped and they should both be shaped twist this one again if it's come undone There we go. So that's what they look like. Go ahead and trim the end with your scissors. Pull it all the way through. Tighten it. And then this is where you want to get the ends. Make sure that they're on both the same side like right here. And go ahead and tie the first one and then again tie it one more time by pulling through the loop wrapping again pulling through and tightening it and there you have your double corkscrew and you can continue on in the same way by chaining 25 more and just repeating the process till you have a lot of corkscrews connected or stop here or have your single. Here are all the ones I made. You can also make them single and just connect them like this. Or you can just do a bunch of them and it would look the same if you just kept going on. But here you have the double crochet corkscrew. Again, this is D with crochettalk.com.